Hey everybody, Crow here, and I haven't done a, uh, I guess a pickup or unboxing video in a long time, and that's because I wanted everything on this channel to be pinball related. So it's, you know, I, I do pick up other video games and stuff, but they're not pinball related, so I really haven't done anything like that. But this time is an exception because I did get this package in the mail, and looking at it, I'm like, what in the world is this? Well, sight, it didn't come with, you know, <laughs> everything scratched out. I did that so you really can't see the addresses or whatnot. And then I kind of turned it over and I saw, oh, it's the flip grip. Now, you may be wondering, what is the flip grip? And, and you know what? And I'm just occurring to me if everything sounds weird or anything, I'm just using my phone. I want to see how it looks. Um, using the phone but what is the flip grip well it is for something for the switch now um a lot of times if you play the switch you're going to be playing it like this if you're playing it in handheld mode uh but sometimes you kind of wish hey look you can see me kind of talking there hey <laughs> sometimes you kind of wish that you could um play it in handheld mode but use it in portrait mode instead uh but that's just not possible what with the flip grip that this will supposedly allow you to do that with the switch now before i forget i i did i got this um through kickstarter this was 12 dollars um i think you could go online and buy it now uh it's still 12 dollars for this um fangamer.com i i know was one site i was looking up to see where you could buy it i don't know where you could buy it anywhere else but it should be appearing in, in stores at least online sometime in the future, if not now, depending on when you watch this. But let's unbox this and see what's actually in here. This is such a disjointed video. <laughs> so let me just grab a knife here. Um, and, and since I'm using my phone here, I'm, I'm trying to do it in 1080p, uh, 60 frames a second on my phone. And because of that, I have a 10 minute time limit. Um, but, you know, if we need to cut, we can cut. Um, I, I'm just not using my camcorder because, you know, 10, it can't do that. It can do 1080p, but 30 frames a second. I'm just kind of curious how this is going to turn out. It's such a, I even got a uh, special mount for the tripod for the phone that it cost me all of a couple bucks just to try it out. <laughs> all right, did I get the tape? Yeah, here we go. So, yeah, I have not opened this, I have not tried it out, so, like, like we opened it up, it says, Enjoy. Okay. <laughs> so it unfolds here. We got um, I got a bunch of stuff in here. Let's see. This is the look. It comes in a nice plastic bag here. We've got the main unit itself here. Um, little sticker. I don't know where we would put that. I assume it's a sticker. If it is, it's not gonna. Doesn't seem to have a crease there. Anyway, it's not important. Um, little card, which I know what this is for. Um, it's a credit card kickstand. I'll kind of go back to this. And this is kind of like a, kind of like poster board uh, <laughs> on top of a pinball machine. So it's like angled slightly downward. So that might uh, affect this a little bit, but we'll see. Here's the main unit here. Uh, here you go, flip grip there. So there was really, I guess I was gonna say there's no instructions, but I think the, these are the instructions here. Insert one way push button to eject you kind of have to pull that out that's it <laughs> so let's try this out got my switch here let's uh, detach the joy cons and I think it goes in this way with the volume buttons turned down let's just see what happens if we try to put it in the other way I think that it just won't work if we try that um, yeah, I, I'm not going to force it, <laughs> but let's try it the right way. Oh yeah, that just slides right in there and it actually locks into place. So I'm pulling that, it won't come out. Um, let's put the Joy-Cons back on. This one goes on this side. Now you're not going to be able to charge the Joy-Cons or dock this or anything like in this. Mode, but that's really all there is to it now you can play like this and I gotta say not top heavy or anything so let's turn on uh, the switch um, one downside is you can't don't have access to the volume buttons here but you can control it through the um, menu here let's let's see if I can get around like this yeah so um, 
So, I guess on the menu it's sideways. Now... Okay, so... There we go, we're just like this. I, if, I'm using Pinball FX3, just an example. I was, I had it like this. Let's let's hit the minus button. Come on, there we, there we go. There we go, we're in the right mode here. Now I know you could do this with Pinball Arcade. I know you could do it with Zacharia Pinball. I'm just doing Pinball FX3. Let's go back here, I'm kind of lost here. Oh, I guess it changed the whole thing around. Single player, oh, I just went back a little bit too far. There we go. So. Um, the only thing I've actually bought here, look at this, we got the, um, these are being released, I think, tomorrow, at least on Steam, I don't know about Switch, uh, but I do have the, uh, the Fishtails, obviously, and the Three Tables, and, but let's try the Getaway, play now, classic single player, arcade, alright, waiting us for this to boot. And there we go. And look at that. Uh, what kind of angle options we got here. There we go. So we can um, just realize I'm kind of out of focus there. So we can uh, view eight. That wouldn't be bad. So yeah. It's kind of hard. I'm playing through the viewfinder. <laughs> Not really the viewfinder, but on my phone. But yeah, you, just like that. Or you could kind of angle this however you want. So yeah, that, that's really why I got this, because... So I could play pinball. Now, I will have some other games in the future, like shoot 'em ups um, Anything that is portrait mode, like Donkey Kong, they used an ex as an example. Um, but yeah, that's all there is to it. And this thing, this card they gave you, you could also use a credit card. Supposedly, in the back here, there's even a little icon here. You could just set it in there, I guess. See, I, got, I don't know how well this is going to work because, yeah, it's tilting forward, but supposedly you could just set that in there and just lean it back. Hmm. Oh, okay, I, I wasn't putting it in far enough. But you could even adjust the level, so yeah. So now you could, uh, is, you have to hit the buttons to get these out. Yeah, these Joy-Cons are locked in there pretty good, too, so hit the button. Oh, wow. <laughs> Here I am destroying, destroying everything. Again, that's not the... Uh... So yeah, we, we'll put this in here. I'm just destroying everything. So yeah, I hit the button too. So now we can uh, rotate it the right way again. There we go. But yeah, even though this is tilted forward, I can adjust this. Let's see if we can focus it on that a more. There we go. So yeah, you could even set it up that way if you want to and play with the Joy-Cons in your hand, which is pretty cool. Pretty neat that you can do that, and they gave you the card to do that. Um, but the other thing, though, like really quickly, is let's see if, how easy this is to pull out. So apparently you just take that and... Yep, very easy. Glad I bought this thing. If you're interested in playing uh, the Switch handheld mode, but in portrait, this is certainly a great option. Also, because you can't hold... Um, see the volume buttons... I think you could just hold it. Yeah, if you hold the menu button, you can adjust the volume from that little area too. But that's all this is. Now look at this. I am way under my 10 minute limit. So thanks for watching. See you all next time.